Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is all about the new WD Green Drive. Now, quick explanation. What does all the colors mean? There's so many colors. Okay, WD has black drives. Those are performance. Those are for operating systems. You might use an SSD cache or something with it to get the best performance with lots of storage. That's a black drive. Blue drives are a balance, so you can use them for operating systems. They're cheaper than black drives, but they're more expensive than storage drives, and they're kind of like a middle ground. They do run at 7200 RPM, so they are pretty, they're pretty decent, but not like a black drive. Next, we've got red drives. Red drives are optimized for storage in NAS enclosures or in RAID configurations. They've got some special firmware tweaks that make them perfectly suited for that, but they're a little bit more expensive than the green drive. This is the value drive. This is the drive that's like, it's like the, the, like the semi-trailer, you know? It's not that fast, but it comes in huge capacities, it's efficient, and it is extremely, extremely environmentally friendly, even compared to the last generation one. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the EZRX. WD has done so many things to make this drive better that we're just going to have to go through them all in order to get the point across. So number one is to make the drive less wasteful, what's the most obvious thing you can do? Put less stuff in it. Put less packing around it as long as you can make sure it's safe and it passes all the tests. So because it uses one terabyte platters, they have reduced physically the material that goes into the drive. Because they have advanced the technology so far, they have reduced by 60% the amount of rare earth magnet material that is required to build the drive, which is huge because globally we are running out of it. And last but not least, the packing materials that arrive to guys like you know us, NCIX, now contain 25 drives within the same amount of area as what would have contained 20 drives before. They're still shipping it safely, however, we're using less styrofoam material and less fuel to transport the drives compared to what we used to. Reducing materials is great, but there's also responsible materials to use. So all WD drives are produced using halogen-free and conflict-free materials. So it's not only the environmental impact, but also the societal impact of producing these hard drives that they want to reduce. Obviously, there's no benefit to WD's bottom line to do these things. It's just because, well, if you're going to call a drive green, you better actually stand behind it. Speaking of which, there's a very cool stat on the WD Green page on their website. Check this out, because I've seen a lot of articles and I've seen a lot of posts in user forums. Well, you know what? It's only a couple watt difference between a green drive and a non-green drive. Okay, yeah, sure. I, yeah, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. And if I was using it for a boot drive or some kind of performance oriented application, I would go with a red or a black or an enterprise drive or something else. I would go with something else. However, oh, oh yeah, and the other thing is, right, it makes no difference. Okay, check this out. Since the WD Green was introduced, they have sold over 100 million drives. Now think about that for a second. With those, you know, couple watts of power savings with each one of those drives, since then, WD drives have saved over 466 million kilowatt hours of power, nearly equal to the annual production of a coal plant. If WD hadn't produced these drives, literally an additional coal power plant would have had to be running for an entire year to make up for people using less efficient drives. The one terabyte platters also dramatically improve performance. So we're using the Blackmagic disk speed test and I'm going to show you the last generation green drive compared to the current generation green drive. So select target drive, EARX, that's our last gen drive. You guys are going to see this, that's okay. I mean sequential performance has always been okay on green drives. They're great storage drives. They're not perfect for operating system use. In fact, they're not optimized for it at all. You want a blue or a black. But, you know, sequentials, we're getting around 125 megabytes per second reads and 125 megabytes per second writes. Now, let's select a new target drive, EZRX, our new green. Da-da-da-da-da-da! 
much faster. This is just from some of the tweaks that have been made, not only to the one terabyte platter design that increases the data density, but to go along with that, they also had to make some upgrades to the actuator head itself. So that's the piece that physically moves around. They had to make it more accurate, and they're actually using enterprise grade components even though this is their value-oriented storage consumer level drive. So we're seeing 145 to over 150 megabytes per second on reads and writes, which is just way better than the last generation product. Very good to see that. So the conclusion is pretty simple. We're getting better performance, we're getting the same pricing, we're getting lower environmental impact. We're even getting some cool new technology. I mean, these drives have 3D active balance right now, which is something that we saw with red drives, which is really cool because it means that there is less vibration from the drive. This reduces noise. This also reduces the wear and tear on other surrounding drives. Say, for example, if we were going to configure this green drive as part of a larger storage system in something like Windows 8 storage spaces where you've got lots of drives all next to each other such that if they vibrated, it might impact the reliability of the drives around it. Thank you for checking out this episode on the all new EZRX WD Green Drive. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from your favorite detailer, NCIX.com. Other ways to be sustainable and eco-friendly, yeah, you can use less materials. You can also use less controversial materials. So they have reduced the ecological and societal impact of the drives by not using any blah, blah, blah.